look at the size of this box. Let me just check what the weight is. 8.5 kgs. So today I have been sent markers from Ohuhu and I'm so excited to show you and to do an unboxing and to do a drawing and just tell you all my thoughts. I'm so out of breath because I'm so excited. The box is 8.5 kgs, like seriously. So let's have a look at this. That's a lot of markers guys, like that is a, a lot of markers. <laughs> let's just get into it. I should probably clean this desk. This is the most exciting part. I love opening boxes. So here we have a pack of fine liner pens. There's eight in total, one brush pen, and the rest are the fine liners, ranging in sizes from 0 0.05 up to one. So this is the brush pen, looks quite fine, looks quite nice, and the 0 0.05, very small, which is great to get those details. The sketchbook comes with a bleed proof pad, and also that paper looks really, really textured, and I like that. A carrier bag. I mean, what a great way to store markers, and oh. This is such a great idea, like, you win this one, a hoo hoo. <laughs> oh, wow. These just look amazing. Okay, on the count of three, which color do you gravitate towards? Don't think about it, just go one, two, three. I very much like to organize my colors, so these are gonna have to be color coded for me, otherwise I cannot continue. Oh, wait, 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 what, what's, what? hang on a second. Oh, an extra one of these bleed proof pads. And of course, swatch cards. An absolute necessity. And that is going to take me all day long. I cannot wait. I'm going to be so relaxed. I went into this with all guns blazing until I realized I didn't really have an idea of how I was going to organize this case. Okay, I just had a break. Just, I needed a snack. So I've just had a look at the swatch cards and they are more in the code system than this little booklet is. So I think I'll just go with the swatch cards. Oh, this is how. Dad, look how hard this one is. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm not ready, Dad. Yeah, you need to practice a bit more on the easy mode and then it'll get easier, I promise. <laughs> I'm gonna go for expert next. What, wait, what? So here is how it looks, all organized, and I'm just so happy because it looks beautiful. Now it's time to swatch them. I'm fully aware I'm going to need coffee for this. Don't forget your coaster. And the first of many snacks. And last but not least, good music. The colours are so vibrant. I came to the conclusion during the swatching process that I now understand why people enjoy colouring books. It's like painting or colouring by numbers and you can just switch off and enjoy it. And I love this. I needed it. <laughs> Okay, so far I have done one sheet, the first colour swatch, and it's taken me 35 minutes just to swatch this one, and there's three more to go, so you definitely need a good amount of time to swatch all of these colours. However, it's so worth doing because the caps don't always match the colour that the ink comes out. Three more to go, first impressions, those colours are absolutely beautiful and I'm enjoying how the pens actually feel in my hand. I have a tight grip normally, like I really hold pencils and pens really tight which isn't very good because I can start to cramp up. So these feel a little bit thicker, um, so that's good for me, you know, I, I really enjoy that and they're obviously, you know, a light weight as well even though they're a slightly bigger marker. So, so far so good. 
I just noticed this now. I was just looking at this and then they don't bleed through this paper. I'm hoping this is the same paper as this sketchbook, um, the mixed media sketchbook, because that for me would be a game changer completely. So I have to look into this, which is very exciting. <laughs> The swatching process is complete and those colours look really vibrant so I'm really really happy. I did a sketch as well, it's just three portraits and I'm just going to colour them. So I get to work on my very first portrait and I don't know why I did this but I picked one that has a lot of varying colours, like um, an interesting light source, I think green from the left and pink from the right. <laughs> so. Probably not the best idea for me to have uh, dived right in with this one because I, at this point, don't know how the markers blend and I'm not used to it, obviously. So I do struggle a little bit with this one while I'm getting used to the markers. However, I do enjoy the fact that they are just so colourful, like just like that really pigmented colours. They're so vibrant and it kind of scared me a little bit at the beginning because I didn't realize they were going to look this strong. They laid down the color really, really well. I was able to blend them once I got used to it. I was able to build up colors with layering, which is good. Usually when I'm using fine liners, I won't use anything too small. I like thicker lines and I just find with the smaller pens that they can look a bit scratchy. I don't use confident lines, I've already talked about this before. So I like to use something um, slightly bigger, maybe I think it was a 0 0.3 that I used. And then I also went in with the brush pen just to see and thicken up those curls. And I really enjoyed using that, um, I felt very comfortable using that. So I definitely recommend the brush pen. And then of course I just went in to finish the picture with some red pencil just to bring some warmth into the face and obviously my white gel pen for highlights. I've added another angle here so that you can see a close up of the brush pen and how it works when you put pressure on the paper. I find that the brush pen is slightly stiff and it is the very very top of the pen that moves if that makes any sense. It's not like a paintbrush you know where the whole thing is very loose and the whole thing will go with your movements. It's it's not like that. I feel like there's more control of the pen this way which I like and obviously if you need to fill in more area you can use the chisel end side. At this point I was feeling a lot more confident in using these markers. I was able to choose better skin tones I think that work well together and you can see there with the blush how well it blends out. It's got that really soft kind of muted look to it. There's no harsh lines so I'm definitely impressed with how these markers blend together. Like it's, it's one of the most important factors that I would look for in a marker and it definitely checks that box. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Ohuhu for sponsoring this video and for sending me out these products to try. I really genuinely do enjoy them and I had a lot of fun with this process. You know, I was a little bit worried because I haven't used these markers before so I wasn't entirely sure how they would work and if I would enjoy using them. So far and during this process was fantastic. I loved every minute of it. So let's talk about the pros and cons. Like I mentioned earlier, the most important thing to me, do these markers blend well? And the answer to that is yes, they blend very very well together. They blend well in the same colour groups but also different colour groups blend well together too. I also think that they are a well designed marker. I prefer the fact that they have a slightly thicker barrel which I said is better for my grip but it feels really sturdy and you know when you click the top of the pen, you know the lid, they have that really solid click. I know this sounds ridiculous but they're secure, like, that's good. I don't want my lids popping off. Another pro, which is obviously very high on the list and I think something that will suit most people, is the price. These are very, very affordable markers and they're not compromising in quality. I have been looking at their website every so often and they do deals every now and again and they do sales, so definitely check every now and again just to see what's going on there because you can get them even cheaper. These markers are definitely very highly pigmented, so you can create some incredible vibrant art. 
I don't use fine liners too often in my art. I usually use gel pens, but I found that these work very, very well. And the one thing I was worried about was using these pens with the texture of the sketchbook because I found in the past with other pens that they can get caught in the grain of the paper and then you can get splotches of ink. And this did not happen. So big thumbs up for that. There is also a good variation of sizes in this pack of eight. So you can get those really, really fine details in and you can also cover larger areas with the brush pen. I really enjoyed this mixed media sketchbook. Usually I use a very, very smooth sketchbook for my markers, but this one I absolutely loved. And I just love the texture of it. It's grainy, but not too grainy to the point where your markers are going to look a little bit uneven. It just absorbs those markers perfectly. And earlier on in the video, the swatch cards, they didn't bleed through to the back. This does bleed if you're going to layer your markers, but that is a given. You know, you cannot be using three to four layers of a marker and expect it not to bleed through. So obviously that bleed proof pad is essential to make sure that you don't bleed through to the page underneath. It's a very, very clever addition to all of their sketchbooks. As it's mixed media, I really do want to test it with other medium. So, you know, I want to test it with some paint just to see how it holds up. But for the markers, perfect. As for cons, honestly, it's really hard to find something to criticize or something that could be better because I found these markers to be very versatile. Like I said, that they do the job that I'm looking for, as in they can blend perfectly. Um, if I was to be nitpicking, maybe like I said about the nib being extremely rigid, except for the very, very top, I wasn't expecting that. I thought maybe the, the nib of the brush would move a little bit more, but I mean, maybe it's better that way. Otherwise, you know, your pen's just going to go everywhere and the marker's going to go everywhere. But yeah, maybe if it was a little bit more fluid, I'd probably like that. Overall, would I recommend these markers? Of course I would. They are a very good quality marker for a very affordable price. Uhuhu have kindly given me an affiliate link. So if you are interested in purchasing markers for yourself, please use my link because it helps me a little bit. It's not that much, but it'll help me a little bit. And you get your markers too, so it's a win-win. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed my drawing and that you got a good idea of how these markers look and how they work. Please consider liking and subscribing and I will see you in my next video.